सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू गेट टूअर्ड प्लेटफॉर्म वंस अगेन आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड वर्किंग गुड सो गाइस यू ऑल मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट ऑटोमोटिव इंडस्ट्री एंड न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज दैट आर कमिंग अप इन इट स्पेशली स्टूडेंट्स एट कॉलेज लेवल एंड हॉबीस्ट मस्ट हैव डिजायर और एडमायर टू मेक इंटरेस्टिंग ऑटोमोटिव प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड लर्न अबाउट थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू कार्स ऑटोमोटिव टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड न्यू फ्यूचरिस्टिक फीचर्स विच आर कमिंग अप इन आर कार्स so if that so then you have come to the right place in the automotive industry there is extensive use of microcontrollers microcontrollers microprocessors are used to make and develop interesting and engaging features in the cars like ads software defined vehicles self driving cars integration of many sensors in the cars and etc and etc so first thing that a person needs to make automotive project is a microcontroller but most of the time automotive microcontrollers are very expensive or not easily available so i through my exploration get to know about a microcontroller that is of automotive grade and can be easily used by students or based and many startups to make their automotive products projects and learnings and that is nxp s32 k144 microcontroller and i have developed it's very easy to use breadboard compatible development board based on s32 k144 microcontroller that is electronics version 1 development board nxp semiconductor is a giant semiconductor company which specializes in automotive microcontroller and semiconductor ics through its s32 automotive platform and a part of the s32 automotive platform is this s32 k144 microcontroller which is used for general purpose automotive projects इसी कंट्रोल पे लास्ट टाइम मैंने एक वीडियो भी डाली थी इन विच आई टोल्ड अबाउट द एस थर्टी टू के वन फोर फोर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड एक्सप्लेन अबाउट इट्स वैल्यूएशन बोर्ड ऑफिशियल वैल्यूएशन बोर्ड हाउ टू सेट इट अप हाउ टू इंस्टॉल इट्स आई डी एंड मेक अर सिंपल ब्लिंक एल ईडी स्केच ऑन इट फॉर गेटिंग स्टार्टेड विद दिस माइक्रो कंट्रोलर बट दिस बोर्ड इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव एंड नॉट इजिली अवेलेबल इन इंडिया और फॉर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर मेकिंग डी आई वी प्रोजेक्ट्स and thus i developed a board based on this microcontroller nxp s32 k144 microcontroller only which is small in size and easy to use and much cheaper than the original evaluation board and that is electronics version 1 this development board uh, can be easily integrated into the breadboard like this and can be used to connect external sensors and modules easily on the breadboard for making very easy to use div projects not only for div projects but this board can be used for prototyping and development of embedded products of automotive products because of its very sleek design and because of and the availability of all the input output pins of this microcontroller of 100 packaging via its header pins like this so now let's understand and let's see the features which are available on this development board based on nxp s32 k144 microcontroller so as you can see this microcontroller this development board is very sleek in design which has all the pins of the microcontroller exposed out via its male header pins which are on the both sides of the pcb and uh, it this ic is of 100 pin packaging so it features it uh, exposes all the pins and all the features of the microcontroller by connecting by using its microcontroller pins this electronics version 1 board has a reset button and a re two reset configurations that are user configuration reset configuration and external reset configuration the board has a on board rgb led which can be controlled via the gpio and timer peripheral this rgb led is connected at PTD zero blue LED, PTD fifteen red LED, and PTD green, uh, PTD sixteen green LED. The board, apart from the RGB LED, has two onboard switches for exploring the GPIO peripheral and making some uh, hands-on practical hands-on easily with this board. These two switches are at PTC twelve switch one and PTC thirteen switch two. the board also has a on board crystal oscillator of 16 megahertz for powering and for generating the clock pulses for the s32 k1 microcontroller k144 microcontroller via the external high speed crystal oscillator 
Apart from GPIO, ADC, uh, GPIO and timer peripheral, one can also explore the ADC peripheral of this microcontroller using the onboard potentiometer which is attached at the PTC14 of the pin of the microcontroller. The board also has a UART peripheral support on board. Okay, there is a UART, USB to UART converter, TTL converter. Uh, which is connected on this board by this driver IC and this UART peripheral is connected via the UART peripheral 1 of the microcontroller. The microcontroller, the board has a 40 by 40 across male header pins on the both sides of the PCB which exposes all the pins of this microcontroller that can be connected with external sensors and modules for making the embedded projects and things. Now for programming and debugging this microcontroller, there are two options. The NXP S32 automotive platform or the S32 microcontrollers support the open SDA protocol which is proprietary of NXP semiconductors or the JLink debuggers. But the JLink debuggers comes and open SDA programmers and debuggers both of these comes at very high expensive prices that are not easy to use and we can't make their onboard support on their custom boards easily. So I got to know and I researched and I got to know about this J-Link V9 debugger which is clone of original J-Link debuggers and it can be easily ordered and brought by the below mentioned link which I have mentioned in the video description and uh, we can connect this J-Link debugger easily via the onboard JTAC support which is the microcontroller in which 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 is there on the evaluation board JTAC connector using the JTAC V9 debugger. So as I am showing you like this and now just like this the connection is done and now one can just connect this JLink debugger via the USB cable uh, with that host desktop and the microcontroller like this. So this is the USB connection that has been done that has been done for connecting the and you can see uh, the board is also powered up with this uh, JLink debugger ground and VCC pins through this its JTAC connector and uh, the sketch the blink LED sketch by default is running on the IC. Now best thing about this debugger is that this debugger only costs about 2.5k to 3k and it can be brought online easily via the below video description link. So you can see that the whole evaluation board which is this of 15 to 12k around and is not easily available. You can get this controller at a price of 2.5k and this debugger at a price of 2.5 to 3k and under the 5k you get an automotive grade microcontroller for making your DIV projects easily. Now guys many of you must be thinking ki why to buy this controller and this board only for the automotive projects and DIV learning. Friends that is because if you see other microcontrollers like of ESP, Arduino, these controllers will not give you the understanding and learning that is required to build skills into the automotive industry and automotive and uh, embedded systems. And this microcontroller has many on board on chip automotive based peripherals which are not even there in general purpose STM32 microcontrollers like this microcontroller has a support of CAN protocol, LIN protocol, Flex IO protocol and audio serial audio interfaces QSPI and uh, this also has a CSEC engine which is which can be used for implementing cryptography operations and projects of, on this controller for the automotive industry. Apart from this, NXP Semiconductor provides the software stack of this microcontroller that is based on AutoSAR compliant. So one can get and this is open source to use and this can this would help students and viewers to get the understanding of AutoSAR and AutoSAR is a very important skill to develop to get into automotive industry and build and develop cars features for it. Now you guys must be thinking that how to start with this microcontroller and the, for starting with them uh, like as the mentioned microcontrollers like STM, Arduino, ESP, there are plenty of resources and community support that is there. So guys don't worry in the at the get to byte if you will navigate you will find there I have explore I am writing blogs on this microcontroller only in proper chronological order in which there are sections like getting started in peripheral drivers 
in which I am explaining and telling about all the peripherals of the microcontroller, how to use them, how to set up design studio, how to install software packages for it and all the things related to for getting started with it. Sen sensor and um, then sensor and module interfacing, industrial automotive sensors and automotive module interfacing with these microcontrollers. Like uh, the one which I have done is of RFID module and would be adding many more and then building and making the complex DIV projects by the understanding of these two things. So uh, till then guys subscribe to the get to white channel I would be coming up with many more now videos and proper tutorial series on the embedded firmware development on this microcontroller on the uh, electronics version one and don't forget to share and uh, uh, subscribe share and like the video subscribe to the channel and do explore out the get to white website where you will be able to explore many interesting things about the automotive embedded systems and uh, technology and now guys to get this board navigate to this bo uh, blog on the get to bike website i will be sharing the uh, link on the video description and then you can get to buy the board and inquiry form here i have made a google form in which i have listed the pricing and the first 50 users first 50 buyers of this board would be getting this board at a cost of 2000k and after that board would be priced at a 2.5k so fill out the form do the payment get upload your screenshot of your payment and then we would be going to ship you this board and read out this community form or you can reach us to us at get to byte at the rate gmail.com for your inquiries or for your doubts related to it so that's it for now like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos and share it with your friends